is still time for you to see a comet passing through the solar system. Meteorologist Brian Hunt Jr. tells us the best time for you to get a glimpse of this natural phenomenon. Well, at this point, you've likely heard of the comet Neowise. It's making a pass through the solar system as we head through this month, and it is visible. You may need binoculars, but you can't see it. It's that spot right there. This is a time lapse from Utah showing the comet, and on a basically full moon phase, or a new moon phase, I should say, where it's dark, you can actually get a pretty good glimpse of the comet. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is still time this month to be able to see it. In fact, as we head through July, it will actually get brighter. So this comet's official name is Comet uh, C 2020 F3. The Neowise is for the actual instrument that's seen it. They're able to see it. You can actually have two chances. Look northwest after sunset or northeast before sunrise. Again, you need the sky to be more of that twilight setting to be able to see it once it's fully bright and the comet disappears. For now, it's best seen with binoculars, but it will make its closest approach late month, which means we should be able to see it clearly with the naked eye and a little more easily as well. It is going to be on low on the horizon each time. It's only about 8 to 10 degrees above the horizon. So if you want a cool sight early in the morning, late in the day, step outside, look up, and you may be able to see a comet. Again, you only have until the end of the month. After that, it's going to be gone for a very long time. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Brian Hutton, Jr.